It's Thursday. That means it's Adopt-A-Pet time. Hi, guys. We're here with Sherry Wachter from the Humane Society of Broward County. And this is Brandon. I love when dogs have human names. It's my absolute favorite. Look how comfortable and calm this dude is sitting on a table. That's when you know you've got a good demeanor dog. Absolutely, because <laughs> not everybody wants to sit on the dining room table. <laughs> he's like so cool about it, like, sure, what's up? Yeah, so this is Brandon. He's just over a year old. I would say about 25, 30 pounds. One of the sweetest dogs we have at the really shelter. really is, yes. He, he's so sweet. He's just over a year old. He gets along with other dogs. We took him to the dog park where there's a lake, and he uh -huh. was walking along the water's edge. He got along with all the other dogs there. Very friendly, okay. He's a sweet fellow. And you know, so many people want little dogs. Here he is. Well, he's like, I would even call him like a perfect medium size, because usually it's a 25 pound cutoff, right? Yeah, it's, we can fudge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, what, what's his story though? How, how did you get such a great dog? So he came to us from one of our partner shelters. He uh, actually came with another dog who was adopted. So that's how we know he likes other dogs. He is just a really nice dog who has a sweet demeanor. Um, I think if you take him to dog obedience classes, it would help build his self-confidence. Right. And then you would have that bonding experience it's with just, him. Just kicking a leg up? Just, just, yeah, I think just, he wants a belly rub. Oh, he, you showed exactly what you <laughs> wanted, right? Oh, my gosh. Brandon, you're adorable. But we also have to show our little felines, give our cats some attention. We do. We have so many fabulous cats waiting for homes this week at the shelter. That is Milan, also about nine months old. An incredibly sweet cat, just could not get enough loving this morning. He is in one of our community cat rooms, gets along fabulously with other cats. I think he would probably get along with a dog if you have one at home. Wanted to crawl up in my lap as I was taking video. Just an amazing feline. When you see cats acting like that, I always call them their cats with dog personalities. Yes. And they usually do get along well with the dogs mm -hmm. at your house. So that might be a good meet and greet at the Humane Society, which is a reminder, you can always do that because for me, we're down to two dogs, so we're always kind of keeping our eye out on a third, which is why I'm like checking out Brandon right now. I really, I really think he might get along well with Simba and Radar, but if I did have that question, I could bring Simba and Radar in and, and let everybody meet, right? Yes, we do ask that you come first to the shelter, meet your potential family mm -hmm. member, and then we will schedule a meet and greet with your dog to make sure they get along. Perfect. It's so, it's so important when you're expanding your furry family. All right, and how did the event go um, last Friday? Was it really good? Our for... Halloween event was fabulous yeah. for the kids. I just want to remind everybody make sure if you are going to dress your pet up that they can see and they feel safe in their costumes and that they can go to the bathroom as well I put yes. that I put that in my animal advocate piece on Tuesday Excellent. so thank you all right we'll be right back with another check on weather and traffic as we say goodbye say bye Brandon say see you later see you later <laughs>